we're going to use the onboard maintenance system and the IFIM to troubleshoot this problem and clear the MEL and recertify the airplane back to CAT 1. So let's start by entering in to the onboard maintenance system using the MFD system button. We're going to select with our selector knob maintenance and we're going to come on over and we'll see on the status that we have the yaw damper system has a problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to onboard maintenance. We're going to go to line maintenance. Like, yep. And look at existing flight deck effects. And as we see here, we have two codes that uh, we had prior to MEL in it. We gave the maintenance control. This code is the fault code that is causing the onboard maintenance system to see an active fault. This code right here is your IFIM code that we're going to use to troubleshoot this yaw damper problem. And here's a pretty cool thing about this. If we scroll down to this green block and select it, it's going to go in a little deeper into maintenance. So uh, if you notice at the bottom of the screen, maintenance message data was highlighted. Go ahead and select that. Now you can see from the screens we have an active maintenance code, 21002. And it gives us our recommended uh, corrections, could be the breaker, could be wiring, could be the actual LRU itself. We also, but probably don't need it, have the flight deck effect fault code as well. So at this point we investigate, and this, this is an easy night for us, we have reset the uh, SMID number one AC breaker and has cleared the problem. Note that it shows not active for both the fault and the uh, flight deck effect. Okay. To double check this, you can scroll back to status and select status, and you notice you have a clean menu. The uh, SMID failure is gone. Now we're not done yet. We've performed the uh, IFIM ops check on this thing. Everything's good, but we have to clear the MEL. And here's where people drop the ball. We need to recertify, clear the MEL. We've recertified this airplane, we pulled the placards off, now we need to go into the onboard maintenance system, maintenance control, maintenance control functions, and we're going to go down to maintenance light. Now right now this screen we're looking at, that tells me that we've faked this onboard maintenance system into saying, hey, ignore any faults from the yaw damper. We don't want that. For the MEL. We want when we clear the MEL, we want the onboard maintenance system actively monitoring for a yaw damper fault. So we'll deselect it by scrolling to it and pressing the button on the selector. The check mark is removed. Okay. And now you can exit or go to previous menu. You can come back to maintenance light if you want to double check this, and there should be nothing displayed. Now let's go ahead and recertify. We've recertified the airplane CAT3. Let's roll the bone. Go to maintenance control pages. Come down to CAT3. Press the button. Verify A3 is displayed on the captain's outboard display unit. Go ahead and press the system button. Perform your paperwork and you're good to go.